Welcome to Movement and Function. Today, I'm going to show you my favorite exercises to treat pain in the front of your knee. The first exercise is a light touch squat. So for this exercise, stand in front of a surface that's fairly high. The back of the couch, the arm of the couch, a high table, uh, even the edge of a wall will work well for this. Stand with your feet a little bit wider than hip distance, maybe about four to six inches in front of your target. Start with good tall posture, and now squat down, extending your hips behind you so that you touch just the edge of your target and then come back up. So this squat should be sitting back in your seat and coming back up, not bending your knees forward this way and coming up. So continue reaching your hips back to where you touch the surface and then come back up. Perform 15 repetitions of this squat, bending just as far as you feel comfortable. If you have any sharp pain, then stop right away. If that feels easy for you, then gradually decrease the height of your target until you're performing a much lower squat. You can also progress this squat by leaning a little bit more onto the leg that's been affected so that you're working the muscles on that side a little bit more. That will emphasize strengthening on the side where you're having the issue. The next exercise is a hamstring curl. I'm going to demonstrate this seated using a resistance band. So make sure that you have a loop in your resistance band large enough to fit your foot through. And we'll put your foot through there and get it as close to your heel as you can. And now press your other foot down onto that band and spread your feet about hips distance apart and then pull up on the band with your hand to achieve some resistance. With the leg that has the loop wrapped around the foot, curl your leg underneath you. Pull back as far as you can, pause, and then come back up to the starting position. Curl back, pause, come up to the starting position. It may take a little bit of practice to get the loop in the right position and your anchor with the other foot in the right position. Perform 15 repetitions or as many as you feel comfortable doing to start with. After 15 repetitions, rest for a moment and perform another set. Start with two sets and build up to three sets as your strength improves. Now, if you're performing these exercises on both legs, go ahead and switch the band to the other leg and perform two to three sets of 15. The next exercise is a bridge lying on your back. Step one is to engage your lower abdominals, drawing your belly button in toward your spine and firming up those lower abdominal muscles. Next, tighten your gluteal muscles right through the buttocks. And with your arms resting by your side, lift your hips up in the air as high as you feel comfortable going, keeping your abs and your glutes firm and engaged. Pause at the top and lower. Continue 15 repetitions. Lift, pause, and lower. Make sure that you're doing this exercise with a low pillow or completely flat because if your head is tipped up too much, it may put a lot of pressure on your neck and your upper back when you're up in this bridge position. Now a progression for the bridge is a bridge march. So the bridge march will do by coming up into the bridge, holding this position, and now shift your weight to one leg and lift the other leg, pause and lower. Shift your weight back, lift, pause and lower. The goal here is to make sure that your hips stay elevated. When you shift weight and lift a leg, it shouldn't sink like this. If it does, it means that your hips are not quite strong enough to progress to the march yet. Continue doing the regular bridge until you develop enough strength to keep, to keep your hips elevated when you lift the leg off the ground. So if you're able to do that, then continue shifting and marching as many times as you can until you fatigue or that hip starts to drop. Then rest and continue 15 repetitions on each leg. The next exercise is a short arc quad. For this one, I'm going to move my pillow underneath my knees. Engage your abdominals, engage your glutes, and now tighten your quad muscles, the thigh here, just above your knee. Lift the leg that's been affected. Hold for a count of five, and then lower. Make sure that you're keeping your abs and your glutes engaged as you perform this exercise. Tighten the quads, lift, hold for five seconds, 
and then lower. After 15 repetitions, relax that leg and switch. Again, engage the abs, tighten the glutes, tighten the other quad muscle, and lift that leg. Hold for five seconds and then lower. Continue 15 repetitions, alternating sides, and perform three sets. Now we'll wrap up this routine with two stretches. The first one is a hamstring and calf stretch. So using the band that you used for the hamstring curl, let's put that around your foot and extend your leg out, tighten the band as much as you can. You could also perform this exercise with a strap or a towel that doesn't have as much give as the band. All right, with the band wrapped around the ball of your foot, pull your toes toward your shin. Lift your leg as high as you can so that you feel a nice stretch in the hamstring as well as in the calf. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds, the longer the better. And then relax. And lower that leg. After three repetitions on one leg, then switch to the other leg. Moving on to the last stretch of the day, a quad stretch. We'll do this one lying on the side. Lying on your side with your hips stacked, one on top of the other. Bring the top knee back as far as you can and reach for that ankle. And now gently pull your ankle up toward your buttocks as you try to pull your knee back behind you. You might need to tip that top hip forward a little bit so you don't lose your balance and roll over onto your back. Hold this stretch for 15 to 30 seconds. And then relax, shake it out a little bit. Perform three repetitions on this side before switching to the other leg. A couple things to watch for with this stretch is that your knee is back as far as you can get it and that it is in line with your hip. So if you look down, it should look like it's in a straight nine, not with your knee up in the air like this. If you're having trouble reaching your ankle, you can also perform this stretch using the resistance band or the strap. So wrap the band around your foot. Okay, flip the band behind you and gripping it here, bend up toward your buttocks. Again, keep your knee back and in line with your hip. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds and then relax. And perform that three times on the one leg before switching to the other side. In addition to these exercises, you might also benefit from some of my other videos, such as hip strengthening, hip stretching, and some of my other knee strengthening videos. So be sure to check out uh, my videos list and see if, the, if there are some other videos that might be helpful for you. I hope these exercises are helpful to decrease your knee pain and help you get back to doing the things that you love to do every single day. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a wonderful day.